Hi, my name is Tasha Foss. I am a former high school biology teacher, and today I'm going to talk you through a few practice problems for the Praxis Exam 5003. That is a subtest of the Praxis Elementary test. Okay, let's get started. Okay, question one, which of the following lists multiples of eight? So we have to start at eight, and then we're going to go to 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, and we'll bring it up to 80. So let's look at each of these and see which ones match. So the first one, 8 matches, 24 matches, 48 matches, but 62 is not a multiple of 8. So A is not the answer. B, 8. Then we have 16, 56 matches and 72 matches. So B is the correct answer for this. You can eliminate the last two because they both start with one and that is not a multiple of eight. Okay, question two, which of the following is a prime number? So a prime number, just to remind you, is that it is only divisible by one and it's only divisible by itself. So there's a few different tricks that you can use to try to figure out what is a prime number, especially if they're going to talk to you about bigger numbers than just two digit numbers. If they're like three or four digit numbers, I'll give you a couple of hints for that. So if it ends in zero, two, four, six, or eight, these are never prime numbers. So let's eliminate A because that ended in, in that. Another clue is that if you add up the digits, so six plus three in the next one, you get nine and nine divided by three is three. If it ends in a whole number, then that is also not a prime number. So let's look at C. So four plus nine is 13. 13 divided by three isn't a whole number, but we do know that 49 divided by seven, if you know your multiples of seven, is also seven. So that is in fact not a prime number, which leaves us with D, 37 is a prime number. Okay, question three, which of the following lists the first three multiples of 12? So we're gonna start at 12. 24 is our next multiple, followed by 36. So how we get that is 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 3 is 36. So basically from there, you just match up which one actually matches 12, 24, and 36, and we are left with answer B. Okay, on to our last question. Which of the following is a composite number? So a composite number is basically the opposite of a prime number. So you're going to have more than two factors. So those are just a little hint there. And again, we can use our hints that we had in the first, in the when they asked us about the prime numbers. If they ended in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, they are not prime numbers. Unfortunately, none of these end in that, so that wouldn't give us a hint for which one's the composite one. But let's do our adding up the digits and dividing by 3. So the first one, 1 plus 7 plus 9 is 17. 17 divided by 3 is not a whole number, so that is a prime number. 1 plus 0 plus 1 equals 2, and 2 divided by 3 gives us 0.667, which again is not a full number. So that is probably a prime number. So let's look at C. 1 plus 1 plus 7. That's going to give us 9. And we know that 9 divided by 3 is a whole number. It is 3. So that is actually the composite number. And we can double check that by telling you that 117 divided by 3 is actually 39. So that does have more than two factors. So 117 is our composite number. But let's double check that last one, 139. So 1 plus 3 plus 9 if we add those all together, that's 13. Again, 13 divided by 3 is not going to be a whole number. It's going to be a decimal, so 4.33. So that gives us, again, C. I hope this was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, head over to study.com to check out our other videos and to look for our Praxis Test Prep courses. As a study.com member, you get access to hundreds of practice problems, like the ones I just walked you through, as well as targeted instruction if you're struggling with some topics along with some test-taking strategies to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe this video if you found it helpful. Also, in the comments down below, please let us know if there's any topics you'd like us to talk about next.
Good luck and happy studying.